right, folks, here we are to start the third in a raucous arena. Sauce controls the faceoff, and they are back at it. Jollies dumps it in. We have Butterwick, Haymore, and Jollies, O'Gorman, Limburg. O'Gorman battling on the near board here. Jollies is in their puck. D to D, O'Gorman to Lindbergh. Lindbergh controls, goes over to O'Gorman. O'Gorman's gonna go up. Butterwick dumps it in, nice, no icing there. They or the D change is nice, a oh, short shift there. 30 seconds, perfect shift when you can, not when you have to. And like that, Patterson takes the stick away and just brushes in the corner, lays a body on. Haymore is in there. Ooh, CCK with a dangerous um, opportunity there in the crease. They fan on it. Morrison controls number three. So Nelson, we're about a minute in. Uh, I don't have I don't have a real feel for it, but well, in the next few minutes, we're going to find out what the coaches impact they had in the intermission. Did the coaches get their attention? Does it matter? Forrestal here gets bumped by Jollies. Devlin with the puck. Ooh, dangerous one blocked by uh, Patterson. But Nelson, what do you think so far? Bottom line is, Tommy, when you're down to the third period in a 4-3 hockey game, this is going to be who wants this game more. Both teams have showed that they got plenty of scoring opportunities. It's going to come down to who wants it more in the third, who's going to have more grit, who's going to make the right plays, and a lot can happen in 18 minutes and 25 seconds here. But it's going to be a physical third period, and we're in for a battle here right to the end, Big Tommy. I'll tell you what, can you feel it? I can feel it, baby. Oh, Beautiful save. Is that Forrestal goes flying over? It was like a linebacker flying over the pile uh, in front of the sauce net. Uh, Hudson was in control the entire time. Hudson Andrews, our goalie, number 31. He's been great this weekend. So sauce dumps it in. Sauce will change. We've got Anton Andy Van Ways out there with Haymore. Pomeroy and Blazovic, 34 and 64. Nice play there by Van Ways, or sorry, Rocco Blazovic. Really nice play to uh, stand that guy up and have it dumped in. And now Sauce will battle. They got to get it out. They can't stay hemmed in. Antonani. Oh, a glove save by Andrews. Nelly, what do you think? One thing Sauce is going to have to overcome here, Tom, a little bit is this four check with CCK. I think. The D-man don't have a lot of time here because he got two forwards coming down here quick. So they're going to have to try to get a quick up, get move that puck up to the forwards and try to get out of their zone a little faster here. Anyway, let's see what happens on the faceoff. We got Haymore, Antonagy, and Pomeroy, and Van Ways and Blasevic out here. 17-21 in the first. So here's a scoring opportunity. We got Luke coming in the O zone, tries to tuck it through. Number four skates, doesn't quite get it through. Anyway, Tom... That was a good little opportunity, but the D made a nice play there on that zone entry. Yep. Rocco goes D to D to Pomeroy. Pomeroy uh, sends it in, uh, dumps it in, but right into the goalie's glove, and he decided after that to uh, put the puck, keep it in play, put it down, keep it in play. So Sauce is pressuring on the four check. So far, so good. Haymore is out there at Van Ways, and... Antonani, we got O'Gorman and Lindbergh. O'Gorman with the puck. What do they call there? Oh my gosh, another penalty on Sauce. Van Ways holding his hands up like, what do you, I guess I, it's, the kids are having a really hard time understanding what's allowed and what's not allowed. But uh, we will once again be fighting a man short. It's been becoming a constant theme. Part of sport and part of hockey is growing. It's adapting, it's playing within the game. Uh, I'm sure Coach Tim, when we're back at practice this week, will have a conversation about sort of how to approach these games because clearly we've been our own worst enemy in a lot of these situations. Limber gets the face off and puts a pop fly into deep right field. Beautiful play to get that out because if he went up the boards, it probably would have been knocked down. So they are off. That is Andrews, number 14. He's fast. He controls, but Jollies gets on him. Jollies with that long stick. Lindbergh in the corner. Andrews with the puck. Oh, beautiful pass in front. Beautiful pass in front. And uh, Huddy with a great save. Uh, 
And the sauce D this weekend, I mean, they've been so strong in, in the initial going, uh, but these teams came to play. They're big and they're physical, and they're getting tested. Oh, Wyatt Jollies, Wyatt Jollies on the shorthand, and we got a minute to go. He tries to go around, and the, the Sapital, Capital City Knights parents are uh, cheering their squad on like this is the uh, Summit Series game eight or game nine, uh, Nelson. It's sort of like when we lost the coup today. I mean, people want to be able to beat us. I think they have their uh, sights on us. You know what I mean? Absolutely, and when you lose a game there, we know it was a close game against Crew. Uh, you know, no team is indestructible in this division, so they're definitely honing in and they're trying to do everything they can to tie this game up. But um, hopefully, for the next 33 seconds, Sauce can kill the PK. Van Way's getting a little boarding penalty there, and uh, anyway, it's all Fortisol's coming in the high slot, rips a puck, another great save. I'll tell you, Tom Hudson. I think the difference right now in this game, how evenly matched it's been is the goaltending. And nothing against Phillips, but Hudson Andrews has made four or five incredible stops, and he's really kept sauce in this game. And uh, I'll tell you, like, you need, you need in a close game like this, you need your goaltender to be standing on his head, which he's done an amazing job of tonight. Yeah, ooh, off the face-off, CCK with a nice opportunity, a one-timer by Aiden Harvey with a blast, goes over the net. Uh, seven seconds to go on the kill for Sauce. Dufour is out there, he's chasing with uh, with Antonin, no, with Boddicker 20, and we have Rocco Boswick and Pomeroy, and we're gonna be back to five on five, out of the box. Van Ways is there, Van Ways gets knocked down by Harvey and the uh, CCK parents go crazy and here's Forrestal on the attack he is shifty he tries to pass it around uh, Pomeroy and Pomeroy easy with that long stick Zach Pomeroy of the edge school for athletes with a beautiful play there nice play again to stand that kid up and Antonani is through oh he's being held oh they call nothing how is that not a hook people people of the People of the North, we the North, how is that not a hook? They basically held uh, Antonani's stick. He couldn't even shoot the puck. But they are on the attack. 17 gets hit by Pomeroy. 17 is big on uh, CCK. So is Zach. Antonani uh, gets a stick on it. They're able to clear it. Pomeroy and Blazovic still out there. Mazursky, Antonani, and Van Ways. CCK attacking. You know, when you're traveling and you're sleeping in hotels and you're having late games, you're really, I mean, these boys aren't even used to some of this stuff. Getting to bed 11 o'clock midnight, playing a 10 15 game. Oh boy. Oh, Rocco with another nice stick as these players are trying to do the deke around uh, the outside of the D man. Uh, while they go the other way, and it's it's not working, thankfully, because that would have been... Oh, Antonani with a sneaky 360 there to put the puck on the net. Nothing doing with the goalie Phillips on CCK, and it is still 4-3. Uh, Nelly, we got a game here. Well, you look at the shots, Tom, 25-21, 4-3 game. I mean, it doesn't get much closer than this. I think the only difference is that Sauce has probably had a few more penalties. Uh, CCK's had their share, but you know every shift counts at this point here. We're right down to the wire, 12.57 left in the game. Right now, Sauce is battling here in the O-zone, trying to keep the puck in, and we got a stoppage of play. So, Tom, I don't know, I, like I said, we talked about this earlier, but I think we both agree in this division, it doesn't matter who you're playing, but you gotta come to play. It doesn't matter if, whether you're playing sauce or you're playing capital city everybody's got a chance yeah that is so true nelson as the boys get older uh, i thought the sauce d uh it's a really strong uh three lines of d but you know these kids are big they're putting uh, a lot of pressure on and it is putting pressure on our goaltending which has been stellar so gorman's gonna rush it in oh gorman with the puck he reverses He's gonna go, oh, he tries to go uh, into the crease to Jollies, but Lindbergh controls. Lindbergh being covered by 13, uh, James Budwick uh, out there with O'Gorman on the uh, blue line. Hamor tries to knock it back to O'Gorman, doesn't. Hamor wins the battle. Hamor still with the puck. Oh my gosh, a backhand just wide. 
didn't make uh, the obvious pass. O'Gorman right up to Butterwick. O'Gorman will change. So Morrison and Patterson are back out there. Hopefully Sauce can get some sustained pressure. Jollies keeps it in. Jollies with the puck. Butterwick chasing. And Patterson easily controls as CCK brings it out. He backhands to Morrison. Morrison's wheeling. Morrison's going. Morrison has two players there. And uh, I'm not sure what... Uh, Anyway, Butterwick and uh, Jollies are there. Uh, Morrison let that one rip, and uh, CCK is back. So Sauce gets the turnover, brings it back. Haymore just rims it up the boards, and Haymore is going to change. We have Patterson and Morrison out there, Boddicker. And Dufour, Mazursky, Dufour, oh, Dufour almost with a steal there. He would have had a wide open uh, pathway to the CCK goalie. Forrest Hall battling, gets knocked down by Morrison. Dufour, Dufour, nice. Oh, Mazursky with the speed on, Mazursky falls. Mazursky controls it. Mazursky still, oh. Pomeroy with Forrest all Pomeroy uh, first to the puck. Pomeroy's wheel and Pomeroy goes up. Dufour tries to knock it in. They can't. And with that, it goes back to Boswick. And the sauce attacks again. Boddicker, shifty move. Boddicker, oh, almost over to Dufour. A little bit too far. And they battle behind the CCK net. CCK back on the attack. Up to 84. 84 is moving. Another big player, Pomeroy, nice rub out there. Pomeroy with the puck. Pomeroy gets knocked down. There's a scram, scramble. Mazursky <laughs> knocks it up to Dufour. Dufour tries to back it over to uh, Boddicker. And once again, it's four on four. Dufour coming back into the play. And we are back at five on five. But there is 9.52 to go, folks. It is still 4-3. Shots are 25-21. Sauce getting all they can handle here. Oh, nice uh, uh, Pomeroy getting in the way of that uh, clearing puck and tries the toe drag, loses the puck. Antonani and Strudwick with the puck. Strudwick trying to dump and chase. Haymore's there. Haymore and Strudwick in the back. Strudwick knocks down Haymor and uh, Sauce is back. Sauce is battling. That's Van Ways. Van Ways, Blazovic can't control the puck. Blazovic battling. Oh, big hit at center ice by uh, 15 Haymore in the big scramble. There's some pushing and shoving. It's all clean, but I worry about this size differential when Jad uh, is hitting some of those uh, smaller kids. But Blazovic, he's going to have to control and try to work the, uh, the breakout with Haymore, Antonini, and Van Ways. Antonini is back. What a pass. He gets it. Gets it. Oh, Oh, another save by the CCK goalie. He's just been on fire tonight. See if we can get any pressure. Sauce has changed. We have Lindbergh and O'Gorman back there. We have Antonani, Van Ways, and Haymore trying to make some hay. Van Ways covers for Lindbergh. Lindbergh comes back. Oh, the pass. Lindbergh's able to keep it in. And so, uh, Sauce finally has to regroup. Lindbergh sees uh, Van Ways. Oh, Van Ways brings it in. Oh, O'Gorman falls down, and there's a three on two. Oh, beautiful play by Antonani. Antonani with just a beautiful play uh, on the back check, and that, that was excellent. Uh, as the sauce player, uh, I'm not sure what happened. Tyler looked like a torpedo sailing through the air. Oh, no, what a save by Hudson Andrews. The puck is, oh, just wide of the net. CCK with all the pressure. The sauce needs to change. Another shot, and with that, there's a glove save. And sauce will need to change. Ladies and gentlemen, this place is on fire. You know, sauce, Tom was lucky on that one. They were at our end of a line change there, and they were tired. And luckily, we were able to get a freeze there, and Huddy gloved it to get a line change. But it's tough to change when you're in your D zone there. So good job for Huddy. 7.44 left in the third period. We got Mazursky, Butterwick, and Jolly's out here. And then uh, Morrison and Patterson. So uh, let's see what happens here. Game's getting down to the wire. Hopefully we can get generate some offense here. Oh, little chip out of the zone here. 
Here comes Butterwick and Jollies. See if we can get a goal. It's 7.28 left in the third period. Cade Mazursky behind the net with the puck. Looking for someone to get open. Gets it in front. Chips it over to Butterwick. Quick little shot gets broken up by the defenseman here. Jolly's putting pressure on the forecheck. Tommy, you're getting down with seven minutes left to go. Yeah, Nelly, um, definitely tighter than we expected after the 14-4 game the other day before Forrestal with the puck. Nice, uh, I think Huddy got something on it. If not, Forrestal went high. Martello, one of the elite players in Alberta hockey. Played on Team Brick with a lot of these players. Jolly's wheeling and dealing. He's got, he's got behind him, he's got Butterwick, and he's got Pomroy, and he has Morris in three, and then CCK has a puck. Forrestal's back. Forrestal tries to go. Haymore with Haymore dumps, pushes it up to Butterwick, who pushes up a CCK again with the puck. Uh, Nice play by Brozovic there to get a stick on it as the CC player goes down and takes a swipe with his stick uh, at a blazing Brozovic. That was miles away by that time. Pomeroy with the rush. Pomeroy with the rush. DeFore shoots it. Soft shot there. Didn't get anything on it. And the CC goalie, CCK goalie handled it. Brozovic, D to D, goes past Hamar. Bodica regroups. Bodica is going to come back to Brozovic. Boswick up to Pomeroy, he, he dumps and they're gonna call icing on that. No they are not, they wave the icing. And Strudwick and Haymore, Strudwick put a check on Haymore and the CCK parents are, are cheering like it's a Mike Tyson bow. I don't want sauce, I want sauce here playing hockey. This is about scoring goals right now. You want to stand somebody up at the right play, you can do it. But we need to focus first on getting high quality chances, controlling the uh, controlling the uh, the possession time and high scoring chances. Right now, though, they're stuck in their own D zone. Haymore with the puck, the four chases. I'm telling you, little sloppy play right here. O'Gorman with the puck. O'Gorman with the pass. Oh, he stretches it to Blazovic, and they call icing. Um, I don't know. Sauce seems discombobulated here again. I, I don't think they're used to this tight game. It's 4-3. I mean, honestly, the next goal here is going to, if there's a goal, will be huge. Uh, I feel like in four and a half minutes, something's going to happen, Nelson. Yeah, and it's starting to get a little bit physical here, too. Both teams are stepping up their forecheck. They're hitting. Uh, hopefully we get keep it nice and clean, but it's uh, I'll tell you these guys are all for blood here right now Great save by Huddy again on the pad save pucks in the corner Sauce trying to get it out and they do Antonegi's coming out of the zone with Mazursky Tyler's joining the rush here got the puck over to Cade tell you Tom. This is man. What an exciting game to watch It is uh, let's see if sauce can get anything uh High opportunities here. Lindbergh keeps the puck in. Nice play. Dumps it into Mazursky. So Sauce is set up. Oh, they try to go inside Antonani, but a nice steal. O'Gorman pinches up. I can't see Antonani's covering for O'Gorman. Mazursky has the puck. Oh, gets it in front. Oh, a nice, beautiful save. Stick save. By a CCK goalie to rob Brody Antonani of a goal opportunity there. So we have four minutes to go. Um, the pressure is on. Sauce definitely not wanting to lose two games uh, in a row here after the game on last night with Crew. Patterson on the faceoff. Puck is blocked. Jollies. Patterson and Morrison on the back end. They go up to Butterwick. Butterwick 13 with the puck. He turns it over again. Butterwick gets it back. Butterwick with Haymore and Jolly's fighting, and it's a battle behind the CCK net. And there's a big hit. Big hit by uh, a big hit by Haymore on Forrestal, but CCK's coming the other way. Harvey with the puck. Oh, a pass in front. It's dangerous, but they uh, CCK will have to uh, 
Reset and clear. They're clearing. Oh, and they send it in. Patterson over to Morrison, and Sauce will get set up. Out to Jollies. Haymore will change. Jollies goes around. Morrison behind the net has the puck. CCK trying to get out of their own zone. Pomeroy keeps it in. Nice feet work. Tries to get it up to Jollies. Bodiger takes it. Bodiger shoots. Stick uh, deflection above the net. Bodiger with it again. Bodiger behind the net with Mazursky. Mazursky sees Jollies in front. But they're really clogging up the crease there. 2.39 left. This is a battle, folks. It is a one-goal game. Zach Pomeroy controls Blazovic. Two minutes and 30 seconds to go. Cade Mazursky saw still on the attack, controlling the play here for the last few minutes, but not getting any high-scoring chances. Lots of time in the, uh, the Ozone. Oh, to Boddicker. Boddicker. Oh, no, that was the four. He got, uh, somebody got on his stick. He didn't get any of that. Blazovic over to, over to Pomeroy. Pomeroy. Another stick check. Oh, and a shot right on the CCK goalie for Boddicker. Sustained pressure, two minutes and five seconds to go here. Silent Ice Center, 4-3. Shots are 29-25. Two minutes and five seconds to go. People, we have a good one here, Nelly. What do you think? You can't ask for better than this. 2.05 left on the clock. And it's, it's man, both teams here, this has been really exciting. We've got a little bit of a long line change here. But uh, hopefully we, Sauce can keep the puck in the defensive zone. Uh-oh, here comes Harvey breaking out with the puck. Blasevic is back. He's got a hard four-check pressure on him here. Oh, yeah. Oh, CCK, they're coming in. we got Zach's coming around here, trying to get the puck in the corner. Little battle on the half wall with Bodker and Mazursky helping out. Studwick. Sees, oh, now we got a puck's in front of the net here. Cade Mazursky looking for a pass to the half wall. They're pinned in the zone here a little bit, Tommy. 126 left. I'll tell you, this Need a little stoppage of play to get a line change. Hudson Andrews once again shuts the door on CCK. Tommy, what are you, 120 left, I'll tell you. I, I, I think I just, I'm just shaking right now here with the excitement in the Silent Ice Center for the Sauce 2011 and CCK. Look at the shots, Tommy, 29-27. That is as close as she comes. I think CCK called a timeout here, Nelson. I'm gonna need a tranquilizer. I, I I can feel my heart just pumping, buddy. Somebody call me a doctor because this one is going into the last 60 seconds, much closer than we would have expected. A 10-goal win against this same CCK team on Friday night, 14 to four, where Sauce had everything going for him. And it seems like tonight or this morning, every shot is just into the goalie's uh, body one way or another, or hits a stick. Hits a crossbar, but nothing going in. So they need to hold on. And I guess the question for the coach is, is do you play defense and try to stop them if they pull the goalie? Or do you play offense and try to get a, a two-goal lead and basically put the game away? Huddy's been excellent in net. We have a minute, 20, 60 seconds to go. We got Madison O'Gorman here. You got anything to say to Sauce in the last two minutes? Go Sauce and, um, well, CCK, they're not doing that well. Madison O'Gorman telling us that she wants Sauce to go and CCK to go home. So they had pulled the net. It's six skaters. The uh, faceoff is in the Sauce and Shredwick's going to take it. It's going to be a big battle. Antonini's got the shot. He sends it down. It's going to be icing now. We only, ki we only killed a, mm, we killed a eight seconds off the clock, but they'll have to drop it again. Antonini went for the open net. Maybe the play is to actually take the puck and skate, try to set up your offense and eat some time. You don't want to have repeated face-offs in your uh, D zone when it's six on five. You got to assume Sauce wants to get control and not just ice it. Oh, and they bring it back. They bring it back. A one-timer from Harvey. A absolute missile one-timer. Antonini chasing. Antonini chasing. And another face-off. They killed another 12 seconds there only. Nelson, two face-offs, and we've only killed uh, 20 seconds. There's a lot of pressure on. And I, obviously, CCK is trying to win the draw here, get it back to Harvey with a big bomb from the point. 
So, oh, they win the draw here again. Brody's coming up. Luke trying to cover Harvey. Gets the puck in the neutral zone. Good pressure. Lindy's got the puck. That's trying to kill some clock. Over to O'Gorman in the back, in the D zone here. We got hard four check here. Sauce is trying to get out of the zone, and they do. Van Way's pressure in the neutral zone along with Antonegi. Trying to shut down that pass. One more zone entry here. Studwick's bringing the puck in the zone. Fans on it. Lindy's got the puck behind the net. Little bit of pressure, gets it out of the zone. 29 seconds, Tommy, to go. And Brody's coming down. Looks like we're gonna get a nice and call on the play. Man, oh man. And hey, I think right now, 24 seconds left, Tom. This, how big of a face-off is this last one with 24 seconds? It's huge. Uh, I think what uh, Keen was trying to do there is to get it up, be a pop fly enough to get it out of the zone, but not go down uh, to cross the red line. But it had a little too much muscle on that one. Keen Lindbergh, number two. They change. Patterson and, and Morrison are out there. Nice. Oh, oh boy. Right in front of the net. Oh my God. There's a battle in front of the net. And there is sticks flying, heads being punched. Harvey is in there with Butterwick pushing Patterson. And all they're trying to do is protect number 31, Hudson Andrews. Uh, emotions are flying. Butsy is pissed. Him and Harvey go to the box. The sauce goalie looks like he's shaking up. 15 seconds to go. Oh boy. Why do we have a penalty? So now we're playing Six on five, two players in the box, although the scoreboard may not have it right. Jollies dumps it in, 10 seconds. Forrestal with the puck, Strudwick with it, gets it back to Forrestal, puts it on net. Oh my God, 2.8 seconds. CCK just scores like that. And that is just a gut, gut breaking shot. Six on five, they pull the goal and have tied up the game. So a dejected sauce team was 2.8 seconds from a win uh, and somehow they get the easy drop in pass on a deflection or something, so. I don't know what the overtime or shootout rules are, but uh, it looks like whatever they are, that's where we're heading. This game with 2.8 seconds left. He got a hand at CCK, pulled the goalie. Strud, uh, Forrestal dropped it to Strudwick. I thought Forrestal would keep it. He put a light shot on the net, a little bit of a rebound, and like that, there's 1.6 seconds to go when we get stoppage of play. The HSL is explaining to the coaches what we do for overtime. Uh, but this is quite a change of uh, momentum here. The game has been 4-3 for the entire period. Sauce looked like they had it in the bag with 10 seconds to go. The 6-on-5 uh, attack again. Uh, a little deflection in front of the net. And uh, they... Um, oh, boy. I don't think we've played an overtime yet game yet. We don't have our head coach, Tim Limber, here. So we're not sure exactly what's happened. Or maybe it's 5-on-5. Five five. Shootout. So it goes. It goes to a shootout. If nobody scores in the next 1.6 seconds, HSL must love this. I'm not loving it. I need a tranquilizer. Uh, I'll tell you one thing. When I woke up uh, yesterday morning, heading into the second game of the weekend after a 14 to 4 dominating win, I did not expect to wake up. Uh, to lose one of the games yesterday and then here to be facing I mean, a shootout, anything can happen. Three shooters, nobody can repeat as a shooter until all the, the whole team is shot. Uh, oh boy, they're starting. They still have 1.6 on the clock. Forrestal is going to go first for CCK. This is going to come all down to goaltending uh, and to see who can handle um, these shots oh, under pressure. Hudson will be the first one to take a shot. CCK, Forrestal, 78. Come on, 
Forrestal coming in real slow. Real slow. And he goes right over Hudson. Beautiful backhand by Forrestal. Jollies is up. Sauce will need to answer. No pressure. Wyatt Jollies to take the uh, first shot for Sauce. Oh, and he stopped. A kick save blocker. And the pressure is going to really be on uh, Hudson here. Sauce will need to get one, but they're going to need to stop at least one to give them any chance. Second shot. Can't see who the player is. But all the momentum has shifted. You can feel it. I think this is, uh, not sure who this is. Hayden Harvey? No, it's uh, 17. Hudson dialing in. And they score. That's 2 nothing. CCK. The game is on the line here. If Luke Boddicker does not score, the game is over, and it'll be an overtime loss for Sauce, and Sauce will have to regroup before the next showcase uh, as things just not going their way. Luke Boddicker slowly going in. Oh, he misses, and that's the game, folks. CCK wins in a shootout, uh, going 2-0 in the shootout, and that is all.